Hello G Nation, I'm your host G and we're gonna have a look at the brand new Stephanie McMahon Welcome to the Queendom. If you're not already a sub on my channel, make sure to do so as well as clicking that little notification bell so you do get notified when I post new stuff. And the same if you do like the video, make sure you do leave a like. All right, so Steph, she is a striker. Everyone will have her at five-star bronze. Actually, you should have her already right now at five-star bronze, the trial version. Uh, we get her for about two days. Uh, my preview is going to be at five-star silver. Obviously, not my character. It's only for preview purposes. I don't get to keep her. If we have a look at the full card, the 18k talent for a coach is going to be take 30% less damage from purple moves and any color move starting MP reduced by one for your opponent. There's going to be links with the McMahon Emsley regime and a modern era and she doesn't have any gear. She is modern era like you see. So the first move set we're going to have a look at it's going to be the Pedigree 10 MP Black move. Finisher deals 146.7k damage, make 16 multiply gems if into blue gems and pin the opponent. The Back Elbow Smash 5 MP Black move deal 56.1k damage and modify a 3x4 Random Maria into multiply gems of strength 2. And the Short Arm Clothesline 8 MP Blue move deals 78.5k damage and choose four gems to make into black gems. Trainers will use for that. Uh, Lawler, so we start with more blue. We're gonna use Matt Hardy so that our multipliers are gonna be increased by two. We're gonna use Memrock so the multipliers are increased by one extra, which means we're gonna be at strength five by now. And those multipliers are gonna do 5% more damage. And I'm using Santa Hogan. Don't really care about the extra one MP. Although I do care about uh, 2200 more damage of any color. That's going to help my black. That's going to help my blue. Otherwise you could go for blue only. That would work. That is I believe Seamus. And I don't remember who are the percentage one. But there is. Right. Uh, the belt I have here has Fury Gems. All level 1s. None of them really helping. But they're giving the 40% extra. That's good for that. The plate I'll be using is the Bad Attitude, which is whenever you break three or more blue, get three black more move points at the end of your turn. There is a special plate that will be part of the event this weekend, which is this one, the Queen's Tiara, which is whenever you make six or more multiply gems, increase your black gem damage by 50% for two turns. Uh, I'm definitely going to want to try that out with Volkov and with... Uh, uh, what's her name? Uh, Wendy, Hall of Fame. Uh, but as far as Stephanie go, that seems completely useless for her because she's basically making blue. There, She's got nothing making black. So, yeah, I don't see the point. But yeah, very useful for other characters. So, well, let's try that. We're going to go versus Bet Phoenix right there. Right. The animation's a bit cheery for that outfit. <laughs> Alright, so since our finisher actually converts 16, but we're making only 12, I'm gonna try to run it twice. We'll see if we can make it happen. Placement doesn't look that great. Let's see. Oh. oh, remain the return. Perfect. So we can convert or make another 3x4 area. Oh, really? Laying it just on top of the other one? Like when the whole other board is fine? Well, we'll work with what we got. I mean, that still that still did a million, so that's pretty respectable. Two, 
That worked out pretty good. I didn't think it would it would go that high when everything stacked on top of each other. But yeah, you gotta be lucky that you can actually get the those two moves out uh, on the same turn without some kind of cascade or bad board or something like that. And ideally, you don't want those two to stack on top of each other. But yeah, that worked out pretty good. Let's uh, have a look at something else. All right, second move set for Steph. Now our move set looks pretty straightforward. It's pretty much black and blue or black and purple, really. Uh, this is going to be a different variation of what we just saw. We're basically removing the black move that made the uh, the multiplied gems, and we're replacing it by a submission that leaves multiplied gems. It's going to be still the pedigree 10 MP black move. Finisher deals 146.7k damage. Make 16 multiply gems into blue gems and pin the opponent. The chokehold, 8 MP blue move. Submission generate 26 random submission gems and do 25.6k damage for 4 turns while submission gems are on the gem board. Remaining sub gems turn into multiply gems of strength 2. The short arm clothesline, 8 MP blue move, deals 78.5k damage and choose 4 gems to make into black gems. Trainers and coach, we're going to keep the exact same thing, having Matt and Rock to boost the value of those multiplies, and then we'll have the finisher convert them into blue. Uh, the downside is, though, that those might not be connected, so we don't know if they're going to blow or anything. Let's uh, find out. Okay, so we're gonna start with the sub. Right, now we're gonna need a little black. I need four. Hopefully it's not gonna land here. All right. And now we're gonna convert pretty much all those that are left into blue. There should be a bunch that will match. They all did. 1.2 million. I don't know if I was lucky this turn, but uh, that seemed much better than I anticipated. Because on top of that, you got a submission preventing him from doing anything, really. And that means you can cycle that over and over. So that was pretty damn good. Okay, let's look at something else. Alright, uh, another move. I think third move set for Steph. It's going to be the DDT 8 MP black move deal 73.9k damage and choose 4 gems to make into purple gems. The slap 6 MP purple move deal 66.2k damage and choose a 1x4 area to make into break gems. And the spear 6 MP purple move deal 61.9k damage and choose a 1x5 area to swap into black gems. gems. Uh, this should be a pretty simple move set. I'm, I'm not even sure the DDT is going to be of any use, really. Uh, we're going to be using basically the slap to make a one by four area uh, into break gen into row breaks, and then we'll use the one by five area to go over it, which will fill my black and make uh, those row break break. And uh, should we need? the DDT because I mean those purples are just six if I place it where I break six I'm not even gonna need the black move but it's there just in case uh, we're gonna use wood so we start with more purple we could start with Bray instead but I mean I, I'd rather get those two out uh, on the first turn for sure uh, and you could get like a bad cascade or something with the DDT that could potentially like get slow chances but 
you could be really unlucky and get a cascade and not get to do those two purples. I'd rather be sure to do them. Uh, I'm putting Slick Rig there just so all gems will do 20% more because we're going to be breaking obviously a lot of gems. Uh, Santa Ogen again just because, well, just because. Because <laughs> it's 2200 more damage of every color. And uh, I'm putting Lacey here because she boosts the purple and the green by 20%. Obviously, purple and black are the two colors I'll be aiming for. I didn't have one that boosts purple and black. Actually, I didn't even have one that boosts just black, apart from... Uh, who is it? I think it's Boogeyman that boosted by 15%, something like that. So I did change the skill plate in this case. Instead of the bad attitude that I had, I went for the Eternal positi Positivity. Which is whenever you break three or more black, get three purple move at the end of your turn. That makes even less use out of the black move. Because that means that when I'm going to get those five blacks right there, it's going to refill three of my purples. Which means I only need to target three purples within the rows I'm breaking to uh, get to do those again every turn. So you pretty much need a very bad board to not get that. Try that. Okay, so we're gonna make an area of road break. Let's put it here. We're gonna get like five purples already. That's going to refill our purples for sure for next turn. Okay, let's do it again. Here. That seems like a good spot. We're going to be hitting one, two, three, four, five purples right there. Since we got that black ready, and I know for sure I'm not going to need it next turn, well, we'll just use it and we'll dump some purples in that area that we know that we're going to be breaking. And that's just going to be more damage. Now we're breaking even more purple. And I'm gonna dra I'm gonna drop it here because since we're making a five row, that's gonna make an extra wild card, which is gonna connect with the purple and the other wild card to give us even more purple. All right, four fifty. It definitely cycles well. It doesn't hit for that much. I mean, it's. Kind of sad that like 500k is not considered hitting for that much these days, but that's the state of the game. We're going to do the exact same thing again. And again, we're just going to drop more purples in that area. Not replace a green because we do make 20% extra on greens. And it works great, but yeah, you gotta do it a lot of time. And on a character that would actually get her, like, if she had a uh, green match and would have got her moves going, I probably would have lost a lot of health by now. Because this is going, like, normally unless you're going versus someone pretty bad, if you go, like, four turns to get your things going, you're going to be dead by then, dude. Gems that do zero damage. Okay, 
Alright, this should be the final one. There you go. I obviously works. Didn't end up losing much out, mostly because she didn't end up doing anything, really. But yeah, I would expect you would normally get more damage than that. And that black move was really not that useful. So we're going to try the next move set by trying to put those multiply gems on the board and see how that goes. All right, last move set. So we saw that the previous black move really didn't do much for us. So we're going to try the other black move, which is the back elbow smash. 5 MP black move, deal 56.1k damage and move modify a 3x4 random area into multiply gems of strength 2. Now the good thing about that is that it's only 5 moves, uh, so uh, 5 MP. So that means I'll be able to get it going on the first turn without even having any MP for it. I'm gonna still use wood, just because I need one extra to get the purple going. Uh, we're gonna replace and use Matt, so that area is gonna be a five of, with Matt and Mamrock. Plus, we're gonna get an extra five for multiply gems, and we keep uh, Santa Ogan here for the 2200. Although he's gonna be of some use also for that one extra MP, because we got the perks that give us three MP to start. We got the first MP from the first turn, making it four, and with Ogan we're getting five. So we start with five of everything without even any MP coach. Uh, our MP trainer, I should say, and uh, that's gonna give us our black. So let's try that one. But this should definitely hit significantly more. Since everything is choose except the, uh, the multiply area, we're gonna do that one first. All right, now that's the zone we want to hit. We're going to make the 1x4 area right there. We're going to get enough black and enough purple so that we can get to do this again next turn. We're getting all those 12 5x gems plus a couple purples and we'll have a bunch of blacks here too. This should do uh, more. Oh, 716, that's pretty good. She got out of that, but we get to do it again. Now she got her green. That means next, next turn she's going to do some damage. If she gets there. Now let's do her area. I'm not going to do on the edge here because I don't want to burn the blacks that I already have. I'm going to put right here. That way I'm going to get the blacks and the purples for that damage. Eight thirty-eight. Good night. I think that's my favorite one. Alright, so that is pretty much it for Steph. I think that covers pretty much the moves and that are the best for her. Uh, there might be others that you can move things around. I don't have anything that pops right at me. Things, I think there's like pretty much two moves set with the purple, two moves set with the blue, and you can toss the blacks around to match and match for those. But uh, yeah, that's uh, that's it for Steph. I think she's definitely a great guy. I'm not sure she would she. I'd put her top tier because while she hits for a lot, she doesn't hit for a lot. So I don't think I would put her at top tier. But she is definitely a great character nonetheless. Uh, the the like we saw the uh, skill plate that actually comes out of the event is rather useless for her really. Uh, but I suspect it's pretty good on some other characters, so I'm uh, I'm probably going to do another video using that skill plates on characters that are going to benefit from it, and just so we get an ID. 
So uh, yeah, that's it guys. Thanks for watching. If you're not already a sub, make sure to do so to be kept aware when I post new stuff. Have any questions, ask them. And if you like the video, leave a like and share. See you guys. Gia. Ciao.